types of parenthesis and their order of priority. So far, we have used only one type of brackets, parenthesis, the curved or round ones. However, an arithmetic expression may be more complicated and require other types of parenthesis in addition to the round ones. Two other types of brackets that are commonly used in arithmetic expressions are the square brackets and curled ones. These, like operations brackets, also have their order of priority. The priority order for completing calculations with math problems containing multiple bracket types is round brackets are solved first, then square brackets and finally the curled ones. It is normally easy to understand this order of priority without knowing the above rule as the curled brackets usually include the square ones and square parentheses include the round ones. Look at the scheme on screen, according to the math rules of brackets, part A, of the expression enclosed inside the round brackets is solved first, then we continue with the part SB inside the square brackets, then with the part or part C inside the curled brackets and only then, we solve the part D outside the brackets. Let's look at an example to clarify this point. Example Calculate the value of the arithmetic expression on screen. Solution Based on the rule of parenthesis, we begin with the round brackets as they are the innermost ones in the long part of expression. We can simultaneously solve the two round brackets as they are independent from each other, as shown on screen. Now that the round brackets are gone, we continue with the square ones following the known math rules. We have one division, and immediately after it, a multiplication. So we do the division first. We have the following shown on screen. Now that square brackets are gone too, we focus on the part of the expression inside the curled brackets. Thus, we obtain the following. Now, it is the turn for the expression outside brackets. We do the two multiplications simultaneously as they are independent, they are not consecutive. We have the following. That is all for lesson 1.4.6. To continue this tutorial please watch 1.4.7, working with negative numbers. Thank you for watching, make sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date with new videos. For more information, calculators, and tutorials, please visit www.icalculator.info.